the books that we wow. showed on the television last week in Book It. So congratulations to you and to think about as well you're reading them. Emma, thank you so Not much. And you're with, us, your uh, you're with us. <laughs> dough all over Maz. You're with us next week and we're going to do a little yes. bit of country cooking. Yes. In our, in our large country I am. house. I should be there. Fabulous. Until then, happy Christmas. Merry Christmas to you. Same to you. And now Zandra. Here she is. She's been working terribly hard. Well, in fact, you haven't been working haven't too been working. hard, have you? The kids have been doing all the work. Now, if you weren't watching earlier, Zandra Rhodes, a top fashion designer, <laughs> designer to the stars, was explaining how she could transform a very basic outfit, like black leggings, black T-shirt, black jeans, into a really glitzy, stunning party outfit. Could be for Christmas, could be for New Year, whatever you like. I can't believe the transformation that's happened. All right, take us we through what you explain done? it? Yeah. Right, stand up, Geor Georgie. Right. She started off with the black, black tights here. Whoops. Move up, up off Come the snow. Come into the middle here yes. so that we can all get a good... And a black T-shirt. So we cut some circles out of cheap black net. Circle. You probably can't see it very well, but I you could use like the size of a dustbin lid and a bit bigger. And then you sort of take a slice through it. Just a minute, I have my handy uh, work belt here. Can we just, can we, before you go any further, can we just look at this work belt? Can we just have a look at all these, this is the most amazingly ornate belt, and I just thought it was a very no, you know, high I fashion bought, jewel belt. I bought the, the, the hands um, in a, a junk, you know, a sale, a, just in, an old box in a sale. And then a friend of mine, Andrew Logan, helped me put the little bits of um, tin boxes on to hold the various You've got things. Pins, tape measure, ribbons. Yes, but they could just be safety pins, little hearts that hold the, the pins. And then round here, can I just look at this Whoops. one? That's got a little little pocket in there that, that you can put other things in. Anyway. Anyway, sorry, anyway, I just have to digress because it's th so They're not so going beautiful. to learn it in time if I don't do this. Sorry, sorry. Handy make cutting of the circle here. <laughs> Gosh. This really shows you how it can be done badly and still look all right. <laughs> See, so you open out the circle and then you join it all at the waist and the more circles you put round, the, the wider and fatter it becomes. So you've got how many layers there? One, oh, I think there's two. about three layers, but it would be about, you could do quite a nice one with about six circles, so it would probably take about six yards of very cheap net. Okay. But it could be a made out of old curtain net. And you could just dye that or yeah, do it exactly. whatever colour you like. And then Georgie pinned all these sequins on that you could just get at some, you know, That's high the sort of thing I shop. like, no all safety, oh, all safety pin. Well, this, but this is tacked on. The ribbon's tacked on. But you see, it looks nice plain. You could be in just plain black here. Yeah. If you wanted to. And the short, ch check how short you want it by the size of the circle. Right. And then this is a basic black T-shirt that we put ribbon around the edge. That looks fabulous. You've just got two colours of ribbon, little loops, and also I notice down. Well, I I'll show. This, first I thought of all, this was the bottom this of the This is just uh, tied skirt. with a sash that could be ribbon, or you could have your mother's old sash or something. And then we put that onto an elastic. But then you, I'm going to pull out the t-shirt now. <laughs> Here we are. Do you want a hand? Do you want to put it around this side? It's a large t-shirt. <laughs> it's a long t-shirt. So it could always be your father's. Old vest. Do it, do it over. You it's see, an old look. Vest. So you could then buy various places where you want to drape it. You put the sash, long sash. It's about two yards long. Put the sash around the waist, at the middle to the front, and then you pull it tight, tie a knot, put your finger on it. Whoops! Where's your finger? <laughs> And then just pull it up and do bits of draping. So if you want, you could just wear the T-shirt or you can pull it up to look like another little sort of outfit like that. Can you see? And that is literally just starting off with a bit of old net and a T-shirt. Cheap ribbon that you just fold together like that. Can you see how that's done? Can you done? see that in close-up at all? Yeah. Oh, yes. There so you to are. just fold it and then bend it to the next bit and fold it so it moves along and makes these frills at the bottom of this. Now the things like you've got little bits of diamante on here and the sequins, I mean you could have those in an old broken, broken bead you, box or something. You probably, you might have some in your mother's bead box or in, in uh, you can get them in like bike shops where they have studs or maybe handbag. You know, places yeah. with leather where they have the leather studs and things. And they're, they're, I think they're about ten pence each. These things, aren't yes, they? Yes, something pence like for a that. Bag. But now, what about this hairband? That's just a cheap hairband from. Uh, in fact, this one was from Shepherd's Bush Market. Oh, and we just crisscrossed the silver 
the silver ribbon over it and sewed it at the edge. But you could pin it, or you could even, yeah, you could easily pin it. Yeah, another bit of cheating there. Oh, well, I don't call it cheating, I think it's making life easy. Oh, but let's see Ian as well yes. now. Can you swap places, Georgie, with Ian. Did see you now? actually do this yourself? Yeah. I've he pinned it all last night. On the back. All the, what about all these? Oh, I see. Those are just they plain just studs. Push there. the studs through. through. Right. Right. Now, what about all these now, pictures? Now, in bits the of high fabric? street now, nearly every high street you find, there's a, a shop that does copying, you know, photocopying. And you take your favourite pictures along. I had some of my, some of these are Sandra yeah. Rhodes postcards, but you could take anything that you really like, your favourite pop star and things. But this is a, like a postcard here. Right. And take a piece of cheap cotton fabric or your father's handkerchief or something like that. Get them to copy them for you. Cut them out and these are all safety pinned on. You can photocopy on the fabric in those places. I didn't realise that. And that's how you've done it. And not a bit of sewing there involved. No, no sewing. It's still pinned on. Transform the jeans. Well done. Brilliant. And sit, then sit, this sit. is just drawn with a silver pen. Oh, that's so your you signature on there. Yes, well, we you could put your own on, yes, can't you? Yes, they could do their own, you see. Top designer. Now, I just want to uh, dig out a pair of jeans. Looking oh, at those they, jeans no, reminds me ones of your jeans that you showed me earlier. I did them in 1970. Every time I went on a plane and on, a, on a, a train, I'd sew bits on while I was just sitting there. See a friend in hospital, sew bits on. And I just wore them and wore them, and they're just all, there's some studs on the knees it's lovely, there. It's a lovely idea at the back. Look at this, Land of the Rising Bum. She's got sort of <laughs> sunbeams coming out there. Well, every, every time a hole appeared, you put another thing in it, you see. Sandra, that is terrific. And you make it look and sound very, very easy. Well, I think it should be fun. People could have it like, yeah. you know, like the before everyone's time, those Tupperware parties that you'd have, you know? And you could have something like a, a, a seeing who could do up their outfit in a special way. Terrific. We've got time for a few questions oh, that have come in. I thought you might have something now, like that. Uh, now, this is Natasha Freeman, and uh, she phoned in. She's 10 years old, and she wants to know, if you could make a dress for anyone in the world, who would it be? Someone who you haven't already made a dress for, and I know that's tricky because you've... I'd love to make a dress for someone like Dolly Parton because she's such a good shape and everyone always thinks everyone's got to be like a fashion model and I think it'd be great to make a really sexy looking dress. You could go to town on Dolly yes. Parton, couldn't you? Now let's take a, a question from uh, Evelyn. When you, were, when you were at school, did you, um, did, did you have to wear uniform and did you hate it? I wore uniform and I like wearing uniform because I could wear the, it never mattered if I spoilt it when I was at school. And I had this sort of slimy old tie that I just pushed up and down. And I never minded because uniform you always look the same and it's only in the weekends when you can dress up. But you don't have to think when you're in uniform. It's easier for working. <laughs> Not a very good fashion answer. Now there's a lovely question here that I wanted to, a question that came in on the phones, I think it was, or was it one from the studio, I, I cast my eye on earlier. Oh yes, here we are. Um, Tamara's question. Tamara's just down there. All of your clothes are really outrageous, but would you do any for normal people? Oh, I like to think I look quite normal. I thought that was a red, red rag before. I knew, I knew that. <laughs> Often it's how people put them together, you know, like. You think that they look quite normal now, don't you? You see, so it's, it's who's wearing them. When you look at me, I always put too much on because it makes me feel relaxed to wear lots of things. But if you took the bits away, it wouldn't look quite so extreme and would be quite normal. I mean, Princess Margaret's normal. <laughs> yes, um, skating over that, Amaryllis Frankis has phoned in from Bournemouth and oh, she's 15. Name. Isn't it lovely, Amaryllis? That's a sort of lily, isn't it? Um, she's 15 and she wants to be a fashion designer. What's the best advice for training? How did you um, start? I started off, I, I, well, I liked art at school and then I went for an interview in an art college. And, but that still means you have to study all your other work as well. And um, so I went to an art college in, in Chatham in Kent. It's now called Medway College of Art, I think. And you study there and, and the first two years you do all sort of general things like learning whether you like to do paintings better or sculpture or sewing and then gradually you develop into what you want to do and I think the main rule is to work as hard as you can and always be interested in things and it will take you there in the end if you mm. never if you don't give up. Mm. 
Sandra, thanks so much for coming in this morning. Going like the time has just fled by. I hope you'll come back and see us sometime next thank year, you perhaps. Thank you for inviting me. Great, thank you. And thanks also to Georgie and Ian for being the models. This is more.